The Pixel 9 Pro Fold is a strong follow-up to Google's fast foldable phone with a huge 8-inch display, slim design, and a longer battery life. But the weaker software and camera improvements make it a tough sell at $1799 US dollar, especially when compared to rival devices like the OnePlus Open. Almost instantly the moment I first saw it, I thought to myself that this should have been the original design for the Pixel 4. I am struck by the improvements, specifically by the new aspect ratio, sturdier hinge design, subtle crease, and the smaller bezels around the main display. There is also the new camera arrangement on the back which ditches the horizontal bar in favor of a rectangular cutout. Even more impressive is just the overall solid construction of the Pixel 9 Pro Fold which was one of the criticisms I had about the original Pixel Fold. It didn't feel as polished so I'm ecstatic that it feels much more substantial. It's also one of the skinniest and lightest foldables around at just 0.2 inches unfolded and 0.4 inches folded while tipping the scales at a modest 9.1 ounces. Everything about the design of the Pixel Fold 9 Pro is fantastic including its IPX8 rating but it is still shy of matching the stylish looks and incredible construction of the OnePlus Open. Just when I thought we couldn't get any bigger screens in foldables, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold does exactly that by exceeding the screens found in rivals like the Z Fold 6 and OnePlus Open with the 8-inch 2076 by 2152 Super Actual Display that serves as its main panel. The OLED-based screen looks stunning, crisp, and detailed like it should for its price. I much prefer its size this time around thanks mainly to how the Pixel 9 Pro Fold's outer 6.3-inch actual display sports a 20-inch to 9 aspect ratio which makes the inner screen more square when unfolded. Due to this, apps fit better when they are running side-by-side -side on the inner screen. But what's most compelling about the new display is that it leaps and bounds brighter than its predecessor. In our benchmark testing, the 8-inch Super Actual Display hits a peak brightness of 2319 nits, more than double the Pixel Fold's brightness, which is an impressive amount. Sure, it doesn't quite reach Google's claim of 2700 nits, but it's close. As a result, I am able to see the screen much more easily on a sunny day than any other Note-style foldable out there. Honestly, it's a visual treat to the eyes whenever I play a 4K HDR clip on YouTube because it's accompanied by rich colors and wide viewing angles. There is simply no other affordable with a brighter screen than the Pixel 9 Pro Fold and for that I need to give Google credit here because it's very rare that our testing gets close to a phone maker's rating. For a foldable phone, Google doesn't skimp out on the cameras with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. On paper, the specs seem all too familiar a 48 megapixel main camera, 10.5 megapixel ultra wide, 10.8 megapixel telephoto with 5x optical zoom, and a 10 megapixel selfie shooter. However, there are some minor differences related to their aperture and field of views that benefits the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. In addition to a robust camera system, I really enjoy the Pixel camera app because of the shooting modes it offers. New this year is the introduction of the mode you look feature which displays these animated cartoons on the cover screen to attract the attention of kids and keep them looking at the camera long enough to get a decent shot. I tried it on my young nieces and nephew with great effect. Other camera features new this year include a revamped panorama mode and the admi feature that uses augmented reality and AI that allows the photographer taking the photo to be part of the photo later on. I have tested this as well and the guidance it tells me with the help of AR and shoots the photos framed perfectly. Here are some camera samples of Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold.
Last year's Pixel 4 was in a predicament because it launched before the Pixel 8 lineup, which kept it stuck with an older Tensor G2 processor. This time though, the Pixel 9 Pro 4 is powered by the new Tensor G4 chip and paired with 16GB of RAM. Not surprisingly, these two upgrades give a marked improvement in just about every synthetic benchmark test with 3 added. Both its single and multi-core scores in Geekbench 6 are substantially better at 1956 and 4813 respectively. It finished way ahead against the Pixel Fold, but the Tensor G Force is still way behind the scores put up by the Z Fold 6's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. But I think most people wouldn't realize that with all the superficial stuff, like navigating around the interface and juggling a few apps at once since it still delivers the same instant responses and fluid actions that I love seeing in high-end phones. When it comes to graphics processing, the Pixel 9 Pro 4 is still nowhere as smooth as the Galaxy Z Fold 6 with 3 d Mark's Wildlife Unlimited Test. The 55.72 FPS rate it averages in the test pales in comparison to the smoother 112 FPS rate of the Z Fold 6 while also coming up short to the OnePlus Open's average of 84.8 FPS. Luckily for me, the games I play religiously, I don't see any major hitches on the gameplay in Age of Origins even when there is an intense action happening on screen. Google's silicon has yet to eclipse what Qualcomm and Apple has shown us, but I am not bummed by this because quite frankly the Pixel 9 Pro Fold feels and performs like a champ with the things I do on the daily. Side by side, app smart tasking is no problem here as I am able to effortlessly watch a YouTube clip while scrolling through Instagram or jotting down an email reply in Gmail while playing Age of Origins on the other. Seriously, this is exactly what the original Google Fold should have been from the start because the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is much more polished in every way. Its new redesign makes it look and feel like a more modern foldable, but I was expecting so much more to justify at $1799 US dollar cost. All of the new AI features certainly elevate its worth, but it would have been much more satisfying to see it getting more exclusive features just to give it a bit of distinction over the slate Pixel 9 Pro models. I am also disappointed that the camera upgrades are minimal at best and how the overall software experience doesn't change all the much functionality. Google addresses many of the shortcomings of the original but the bar has been set higher by other foldables like the OnePlus Open and Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Needless to say, it's much better than its predecessor but it still comes up short of matching the value that its contemporaries offer.